Here we are again, Layston Abbey. Same gorgeous site, same absolutely glorious weather, completely different project. But the same glorious archaeology. And we get to dig in different parts of the abbey and answer different questions. I'm really looking forward to digging in the abbey trench. We get to dig the rear daughter. I know you keep going on about it. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what I'm most excited about is actually using the digital dig team system. Absolutely. HLF funded. We're so pleased to have their support for this part of the project. Mm. And there's so many returning ventures, so many familiar faces, as well as lots and lots of new people actually supporting us, you know, as digital participants. I just can't wait to throw the technology at them and get it started. Yeah. Oh, I just can't wait having never to sit in the rain and write a contact sheet ever again. Right. And in yes. the post -ex, really bad handwriting. And that catch-all phrase of mid-brown chocolatey grey. What is that? I have to apologise for writing that. <laughs> Late for tea break. Well, I chocolate, think so. Yes. Chocolate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All comes out yeah. in the post -ex. What can you do? But seriously, uh -huh. what is going on in the trenches this year? Well, I'm just about to head over there now. Why don't you come along? Well, of course, here in the Black Shuck Memorial Garden, it makes me think of all the great things we found out last year. But I'm not here to tell you about that. I'm here to tell you about what we're about to dig. Here we are in the Abbey Complex, and this is where we're gonna put trenches eight and nine. And we're looking to find out um, the path of a drain that cuts straight through the rear daughter. There could be all kinds of organic um, artifacts and eco-facts coming out of there. So we're really excited about that. And of course at the very back, a mysterious rise in the ground. Is that a spoil heap from the original 1920s excavations? We'll have to wait and see. The other things we're trying to look for are in the earthwork field to the west of us. And there are these enigmatic long lines and banks and platforms. And we're trying to find out what that's for. We've got two trenches running across those to see if we can get an idea of their date, to see if we can get an idea of their function, to see what activity was taking place there during the medieval and monastic phase of the site. And beyond that, still, in the western field, we've got two trenches going across what appears to be a, a significant drainage ditch coming straight down the hillside. We know that ch that's channeling water away from the big moat above, but we don't know what it's for, whether it's being used for industrial purposes, or whether it's just a drainage ditch. We'll have to wait and see. And of course, back to the northwest field, where we have our prehistoric area. Trench one that we found last year with two ditches, two post holes, but we've opened that area up to see if we can find any more features from that phase to see if we can understand that more. So we've got the Abbey trenches here investigating the rear daughter, we've got the earthworks field investigating those enigmatic earthworks, we've got just next to that in the western field two trenches across the channel and then above that in the northwest corner we're looking for the prehistoric remains that we found last year too. It's all going to happen tomorrow, I can't wait to see.